Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a quick flip through of my Kitty Dory journal that I just finished. I took the class from Amy over at Kitty Witty Papercraft. Um, it's an online class and she offers it over at her website and I'll put a link below because she has a couple of classes that are available showing you how to make um, a little golden book junk journal and then also a um, this Kitty Dory journal right here. And her classes are really great because she goes into a lot of detail um, about how to make a journal as well as like kind of like the reasons why she does certain techniques and that kind of thing. So it's really, it, it's really in depth and um, I've really been enjoying her classes. So I highly recommend them if you want to learn how to make journals or get started. Uh, and the great thing about it is when you're as you make the journal and you learn how to do it, you, it kind of morphs into your own thing. And so you sort of, you take some of her I ideas and she shows you how to do things, but then you can kind of go off on your own and it becomes your own thing. And it's really fun. Um, I just, I had a lot of fun making this. So this one, she calls these Kitty Dory journals and they're a travel sized journal. This one isn't so travel sized. I kind of adjusted the size a little bit. Um, I forget why. I think it was because I the way that I cut the paper. I I measured it a little bit too um, big. I think so. I just but I actually like the size. It's kind of a bigger bigger journal. So I think you can. I mean, you can do whatever you want. She gives you optional sizes you can make, um, and and the measurements of them. But I just kind of went off on my own and did that. Um, but it's the main um, cover of the journal is made out of. Uh, so a uh, vintage sewing envelope. So like the Simplicity envelopes, or this one is a McCall's envelope. And so it's kind of a fun, just something different. And she sh shows you how to make the cover and then how to put the pages in and sew them in and that kind of thing. And she also offered a starter pack on her in her Etsy shop with all the supplies you need to make the journal. And I was lucky enough to pick one up back when she first released the class and she's recently uh, put a few more of the packs in her Etsy shop. I don't know if they're sold out or not, but I think periodically she mentioned she was going to add some more in. So I'll put a link to her shop as well. So let me go ahead and get started here. So this is um, the outside cover and I added a bow. This is a one and a half inch gingham ribbon. And all I did was just kind of put it through the the string here where I sewed in the the signature and just attach it that way and tied it and this is the, the front I didn't do too much with as far as decorating um, because it was in pretty good shape she talks about you know things you can do to kind of cover up maybe some rips and that kind of thing so um, but the back I, I added some washi tape to cover up the seam that was going down the back of the envelope. And I, I like this washi tape. It kind of went with everything. So I added that and that's about it. I just, and I kind of cut the corners, rounded the corners. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. But I thought I like this. There's all different covers you can get. And I really like this one. So I'll just go ahead and go through it. So this is the inside. And um, if I give this to somebody, I probably put a little kind of, paragraph about how to use the journal. So I'm just kind of saving this library pocket card here for that when the time comes for that. But I just kind of decorated with some stickers, um, this library pocket. I think this is from Pink Fresh Studio, the stickers. And then I added a little, little tab at the top here on this page, um, just with a little journaling option. Some little lined card there. And then... This page is a pocket that I made from fabric. And then I added some trim here too. And then I just kind of stuffed the pocket with some, some vintage items. I really like this. This is a, a bridge scorecard that I got off of Etsy. And I added this little, I have a bunch of these little hanger um, paper clips. And so I add, I like how you can pull it out by the top of the hanger. So I, you pull it out like this and then it clips the little piece shut and this it's a, actually a bridge scorecard but I covered the inside with some journaling paper so that you can write more things on the inside so let's see get this attached and then I just have like a little memo memo sheet here a guest check um, this is 
a little, this is a vintage style postcard that I had that I added to. Just lots of places to do journaling. I like to, to add that. This is a old um, decorate from a decorating magazine. This I added myself. That's like the thing I was talking about where you can kind of go with where you, you can kind of go your own way with it. Um, I just, I happen to really like decorating magazines. So I wanted to add more of those types of pages to the journal. So I found one that kind of color coordinated with the yellows and the um, blues and things that are in this journal. So I thought this was kind of fun. It's just a, I forget what magazine, magazine it's from, but it's just a fun kind of 60s looking living room. And then lots of ledger paper. And then this is a little children's book page. And then a doily. And then I added, this was the other, this is another side of an ad um, that I made a pocket out of. And I added just, this is, I made this myself, just a little journaling card. It's kind of fun. You can just, I just sort of take, I have a ton of paper ephemera. So I just kind of take pieces and make my own things too. Um, and with what I think will look good. And I, I like to have a lot of journaling. So any little cards I have, I'll try to kind of embellish and add. And then this is um, just a, another garden page. And then I added, also I, I really like recipe, um, old recipes and recipe magazines. So I added a little page from a recipe magazine that had the, the kind of yellows in it too. And this is some more scrapbook paper and then a little, I made a pocket out of a bingo card. And then I added um, just some of these. I like these brightly colored um, index cards. So I kind of added them in a little fanned out way um, just for more places to write things and to kind of decorate the inside. And I just put a few things in here, but, you know, whoever gets this journal can add more things to it as they as they want. And then this is just another children's little book, poem, more paper. This is an old um, playing card that I made a pocket, at, like a little tuck spot out of, and I added some tags that were kind of color coordinating with the with the journal. And this is the part of the, the recipe book. And this is a sewing page too. This is a um, magazine page from the Work Basket magazine. Again, I thought the colors kind of matched the journal, so I added that. This is a really pretty greeting card, and it had the open ends on it, so I taped those off and made pockets for them to put things in. And then this is the other side of that sewing magazine. And then I added a little tuck spot with, this is a, some vintage, a vintage tag that I got, and then I got these from an antique mall visit that I made. Uh, somebody had put together a little bag of all kinds of vintage tags. So tags from pots and pans and clothing and all different kinds of things. It was kind of fun. And it had, it has all these like fun colors and um, I don't know, it was just kind of fun to add. I mean, you could add your own journaling card to it and, you know, but I, I think I didn't want to cover this stuff up because I thought it was really nice. It even has somebody's writing on the back of it. So, so I just kind of tucked that in for, you know, like a fun little thing to find when you flip through the journal. And then this is more recipes. This is a piece of, um, Tim Holtz has this really interesting wallpaper pack that it feels like wallpaper, but it's, um, I think it's just regular cardstock, but it has, it's, has the vintage wallpaper look to it and it has kind of that texture of wallpaper so I added a page in there that kind of matched and then I added a little vellum pocket with some like a little this is just a little card inside of this vellum envelope so you know you can write stuff on that or add more stuff in there this is a milk cap like a little I added little tabs too with different little ephemera items and then some more journaling paper. This is just a little piece of ephemera that I had in my in my um, supplies. And then I added a little fabric tab with a little applique here. And I happen to have this. Um, I added this piece of scrapbook paper. This is from, um, I think it's Cartabella. It's an older, um, I don't know if it's Metropolitan Girl or not, but um, 
it had a sewing pattern inside of it and just some fun like a hanger page on it so I thought that would kind of go really nicely with the the journal and then this is the other side of the the recipe page and I love this because it's got the picture with the bright yellow on it and the greens and it just kind of pulls everything together I think too so it may not make sense that there why would there be a random recipe in a journal but but it's kind of you just kind of pull in colors of things and then you just can kind of appreciate all the the fun nostalgic stuff that that's inside so more journaling paper ledger paper and then um this is just the other side of the ad for this is like a ladies clothing ad and then the doily and then I just added a strip of, this is kind of some cloth washi I added to the edge of this page too, just to add some interest. And then this is the other part of the decorating magazine with the, the living room in it, again with the colors. I just thought that looked really good. And then this is the last page um, that has, I added another pocket to this with some, the coordinating uh, scrapbook paper. And then I just tucked in some like a seed packet that you can add things to the inside of and then this is a little vintage stationery that I thought matched really well so I kind of have this sticking up at the top top is kind of a little decorative thing and then I just tucked in this little card this is from Maggie Holmes I like the little bird so you kind of just I kind of just arranged it so it sort of looks like a nice little little setup there like that so so that's it so again I highly recommend Amy's classes they're so good and it's they're just fun to watch they're very bright and cheerful and she works a lot with um, little golden book pages um, a lot of like vintage um, children's other children's books too and um, so she just has she has just some really great content on her YouTube channel um, she has a really fun um, tour of her craft room. Um, just a lot of really, really great information if you want to get into junk journaling. And she's got a lot of great tips. So, so definitely check out her channel and let me know if you have any questions about anything. And I'll see you in my next video.